Pazuspermia is a medical condition in which sperms are totally absent in the male's semen. Males with such conditions are usually infertile, but in some cases, azuspermia patients can regain fertility. The condition of azuspermia can affect 1 out of 100 males. So let's see why and how is the condition of azuspermia. In normal conditions, spermatogenesis occurs in the testis region of the male's reproductive system. These sperms leave the testis and reach the epididymis region, where these sperms are stored after maturing. When stimulus is received, these sperms move forward while traveling through the vas deferens. And the secretion of different glands on the way is added to the sperms, from which the sperms take the form of semen, and then the semen is ejaculated while traveling through the urethra. But in azuspermia patients, sperms are not able to enter the semen, due to which such males are infertile. There are two types of azuspermia. One obstructive azuspermia, two non-obstructive azuspermia. In obstructive azuspermia, there are some obstacles in the patient's reproductive system, such as the absence or blockage of the vas deferens tube due to which the sperms are unable to move forward. While non-obstructive azuspermia can occur due to hormonal imbalance, testicular dysfunctions or chromosomal abnormalities. Like sometimes in such patients, the male IY chromosome part is missing, which is involved in sperm production. Or there is an extra X chromosome in these patients, due to which the Y chromosome is not able to perform its activity properly. Treatment after the azuspermia is detected, the doctor first finds out the cause of azuspermia in the patient. If azuspermia has occurred due to some chromosomal abnormalities, then treatment is not possible in such cases. However, if the cause of azuspermia is some hormonal imbalance, then hormonal treatment is given to such patients, due to which the process of sperm formation can start. If the sperms are not forming in the testis due to some malfunction, then that malfunction is treated. While in the case of obstructive azuspermia, the blockage is opened through surgery. Or if a tube is cut, it is attached to it. And if all this is not possible, then by extracting sperms from the testis of such patients, fertilization can be achieved through the test tube. 